going to thank God for what God did for me. I know I was testifying to God for what God did in my life, especially for my job. I had a bit of delay for how many months. They couldn't give me my promotion. And the way God did it in such a way, especially after praising God, I remember I was crying about this issue. And I came to God for that eight days. I was praising God for it. And I can tell you now, not only has God given me a global contract, he has also renewed it. I want to thank God for that testimony. God, I thank you and I bless your name. Be thou exalted. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to testify of God's goodness. A um, few months ago, I was having this severe back ache. Like, I'm sure Minister Laya can testify that she's, she's, God has delivered her from my hands. You know, it got to a stage I would get people just banging on my back. It was so severe. And I was thinking, is it because I've had epidural true birth? I don't really know what it is. I went to the GP. The GP checked it. They said there's nothing wrong with it. And it got to a stage I was just like, you know, you know when you're just like, I just, I just, I just gave up. Then one day, I think we were praying upstairs in PE's um, office. And she had the anointing oil in a bowl. And I even asked her for the anointing oil. And, uh, you know, we, we kept missing each other. She said, the anointing oil that you wanted and everything. And after prayer on a Sunday, she didn't even know. I just dipped my hand in the anointing oil. And I rubbed it around my back. And when God did it, I didn't even know. And I realized, like, I said, oh, it's been a while I've complained about this back pain. And I just want to thank God for healing me. I want to thank God that now I can sleep. I can sit down without people massaging my back, without people putting... What what I bought to behind my back. I want to thank God for healing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure some of you will know my story. It's about my husband. Um, just to cut the long story short. In 2015, he had a stroke and um, left him, you know, virtually he can't do anything. You know, he can't um, talk, he can't do he can't um, move. If you don't move in, you will be there. And I remember that um Two months into the whole um, um, issue, I was told to come and sign a document in the hospital that um, if he stopped breathing, they would not do CPR for him. And I told them, I said, well, the thing is, I can't sign the document. Reason being that he has a mother, he has four um, siblings ahead of him, and um, he has three young children, and of course, I'm his wife. And, <laughs> and, uh, then, and then also, the, our faith, believing life. In other words, life must be I mean, preserved for as long as possible. So I told him I can't sign that document. To God be the glory, he was referred to the, I mean, to the rehab hospital in Lemitin. He was there for 10 months. By the time he was discharged home, this man cannot, I mean, he couldn't do anything by himself. Like I said, if you don't move in, it will be there. Whatever you live in, that's where you meet him. But I want to thank God that God that does great things. The man that could not even lift his hands. If he comes to church, some of you will see him. He will sit down, clap his hands. You know, I mean, it's just one thing after the other. Things that they, they say he could not do. I thank God that he is beginning to do them. If you call him, he will look at you. You know, give you that attention that I can hear what you are saying. Praise the Lord! The day my husband left for Nigeria, um, from nowhere, I just started seeing flies in the kitchen, between the kitchen and the living room. Well, I just took it like a normal thing. Sometimes I opened the kitchen window, so I felt, okay, uh, maybe they came in when I opened the windows. So I opened the windows and drove all of them out, closed the windows, went to the living room, came back, another dose, dozen of um, flies. So I started wondering where they were coming from because all the windows were locked, the doors were locked. I was like, okay, maybe the rooftop, there's a window open. I went upstairs all the way to the um, third floor. Everything was locked, so I was like, I don't know, I can't understand where the flies were coming from. It, started, it continued Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then Friday, I spoke to my sister-in-law, I was like, I don't know flies, there are flies in the house. So I was like, ah, really, flies are not good things when everywhere is locked, when you don't know where they are coming from. She said, it's a bad omen. I said, really, I have never heard about that. She was like, eh, there was a time there were flies, we had to pray, we had to do this. I said, okay. We, I have been praying, so I know nothing will happen. But on Friday, when we were praying, preparing for praise week on Saturday, I woke up Friday morning. I was feeling very unwell. 
I just prayed that morning with the children. We came downstairs. As I got to the kitchen, I saw flies everywhere. I opened the windows. I drove them out, locked the windows. We went to the living room. We were there for a while. On Saturday, the same thing. I didn't know what to do. I was just praying. I was just praying. I was just praying. Then last night, my husband came in yesterday afternoon, met us in church, and we went home. When we got home, I discovered the moment we got home, we had just a few flies. So I was wondering where all the flies had gone to. I didn't know. I just said, okay. And before that, on Saturday after praise, we, because we finished really late, immediately I opened my door and went to the kitchen. I saw flies everywhere. With that holy anger, I just said, I am going to bed. By the time I wake up in the morning, you all should be dead. And I took the children and we went to bed. As funny as it sounded, on Sunday morning, I came down and we had a few flies. I said, all right, that's, it's better than what it was. In the evening, it was the same thing. So last night to this morning, I had a dream. In the dream, I saw myself with my younger sister. We were actually going somewhere and then two persons stopped us. And they just, they opened their hand like, you know, when someone wants to attack you. And in the dream, I just screamed blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, and their hands caught fire. And I told my sister, see fire, see fire. We just ran away. You know, and I woke up this morning, I went to the kitchen, and there was about two or three flies. My husband came in and like, if there is any fly in this house, don't drive them out, make sure you kill them. And then, <laughs> I carried paper, I said, the chase in, and I killed the first one, I killed the second one, and I opened the window, one managed to go out. I went out, by the time I came back, there was no single fly in the house. I just want to give God glory because I don't know what they came to represent, but God just fought the battle and I held my peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, this is related to um, yesterday around the end, P was talking about financial breakthroughs that we've had through Praise Week, which I had not given this year. So I just want to thank God because last year doing Praise Week is on behalf of a friend. I was praying concerning a friend and then I, I told him to sow a seed towards Praise Week. He came, so he had been um, going for interviews, getting rejected for over like seven, eight months. And then he got, he, at that point, at around july he was already at the point where you know what i'm just gonna go home when i finish uni that's it and then we'll see how it goes but i just want to give god all the glory that he came to praise week on wednesday he saw the seed on wednesday and by thursday morning he received an email for an interview for a job he never applied for and literally he went for the interview but the interview was not really an interview because it was just like let's just sit down and talk and talk about the job and he got the job by the grace of god so i just want to give god all the glory because they are breakthroughs so and i want to encourage us as well to sow into, into praise week because god comes through amen indeed the lord has been good to me um at work um there was a course that was supposed to be every one of us in my team uh, has to do it so my manager, my, my employer paid everything, and my manager was like, this course, Angela, is very difficult. Are you sure you're going to pass it? I don't want to fail. Nobody in, in this team has failed before. I'm thinking, who do you think I am? I, real, I felt really bad. I said, why? I said, I'll pass, don't worry. Say, you better pass, because nobody in this team has failed. So, you know, when somebody has so much doubt about you, and I began to think, ah, good. Why would somebody think of me this little? God, my God will not put me to shame. I said, don't worry, I will pass. So they paid for my hotel. I stayed there for a week. Everything was paid for. And um, I did the test. I did the course. It was a, uh, a week course. I did. And uh, because of when I came back, they were asking, when is the results? Um, I said, the result, they are not out yet, but they will come out very soon. Okay. Uh, if, if you don't pass, you know you can receive. I began to doubt myself. I said, God, why? But to the glory of God, the results came and I passed. Because I was so fearful. You know when somebody put fear, fear in you, you're thinking, you begin to doubt yourself. I said, I serve a living God. God can never put me to shame. I will not be traveling again, you know, leaving my family for the whole week and then... This is what I'm getting. Are you sure you'll pass? 
Anyway, to the glory of God, I thank God. God has really showed up for me. I passed. And the next thing I just saw the email say, oh, we are going out to celebrate Angela's success. I'm like, yes. So everybody else will be coming to join with me in my team. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for keeping me and my family throughout the past year. He has greatly increased and sent men to favor us. Praise God. Secondly, I want to thank God for increasing me at work and granting me promotions and favor before my colleagues and employer. Praise God. Third one, God has granted me journey messages to and fro my place of work and he has also kept my family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, so my testimony comes in three parts. Firstly, I want to thank God um, for allowing me to complete my course. I remember... I think six years ago or seven years ago when we was at a conference and the man of God said that he would be even surprised if I was able to finish uni because what you're seeing is like I will not be able to finish. But I give glory and adoration to the almighty God. For um, not only that, beginning of the year, I told God, before I graduate, I do not want to take this car to my graduation. I want a brand new car. And he did that for me, so I thank God for that. Secondly, I thank God for my father's health. Um, he, he was going blind in his left eye, and um, the doctor said basically there's nothing they could do about it, that, you know, like, is what it is. And uh, the next time they can have an operation is the end of 2021. And it was that by the time that, you know, happens, then he'll be completely blind by then. But we thank God for um, favor. Um, he had his operation two months ago, and you can see clearly and perfectly from the left eye now. The third testimony, first of all, I just want to thank every single woman in this church, everybody in this church, to you, mommy as well. Thank you very much, ma. Um, in March, my mom's brother was kidnapped, and um, I remember that morning she just came to my room and said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, what happened? She said, like, they've taken Reverend. I said, okay, so what's the ransom? What's going on? Um, they said that we should pay £11,000. <laughs> um, only God knows, you know, how you expect us to raise £11,000 in 24 hours. But I just want to give all the glory and adoration to God for people that he raised to give that money. Um, and thank him because um, they released him. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't harmed or anything. So I just want to give all the glory and adoration to God. Sorry. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. You can see I'm smiling. I'm smiling for a reason. Yesterday, you all heard my testimony. Yeah, about the flies and all that. I didn't know that while I was seeing flies here, yeah, my mother-in-law was also seeing flies in London. There was no communication, so we didn't know what was happening. But immediately I came down and I was going outside. My husband called me and said, a news has just come from London. My sister-in-law was in an accident. And the car was written off immediately. That's how bad it was. But I'm giving God all the glory today because she came out with nothing on her. The son that she took for football came out with nothing on him. I just want to give glory to God because the enemies, they still tried. But he overcame for us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.